Jesse Miller is one of those retired doctors who never stopped practicing medicine. He continues to visit patients at Jackson Madison County Hospital and donates hundreds of hours to hospice care. Hospice is a wonderful organization for those at end of life. Uh, I mentioned loving to travel. Uh, my wife and I do love that and, and to travel through 14 counties. Uh, I work with Hospice of West Tennessee and there are 14 counties that we uh, go to. Uh, the hospice movement uh, uh, started in the United States in the 70s after beginning in England uh, in the 60s. And our hospice uh, did not have volunteer physicians that worked with them until Dr. Jack Booth, who's a retired orthopedist, came up with the unique idea for us to have that here. Uh, and I'm indebted to him because I really have loved doing this work. Dr. Miller was one of the first physicians to help in that program and he donates probably two days a week to tour West Tennessee to see those people and to visit with them and their families. I remember going to Sugar Tree one time up on the Tennessee River. We tra I traveled with Pat, one of the hospice nurses, and we went up a gravel road and grinded and winding and got to the top of the hill and looked down at the river and there was a trailer there and this gentleman had decided that he wanted to spend his last days there rather than in the hospital or a nursing home or somewhere. And with hospice, people can do that. He's just a busy person. I know he was busy when he was active in his practice, but he's not slowed down a bit. He's just an active person. We want the patient to know that they are important to the last moment of their life. We want them to have it their way. They should be certain that they have pursued everything with their doctor to have any kind of treatment that will help them. We worry sometimes that some aggressive therapy makes uh, harms or even uh, causes the uh, patient to suffer more. We're interested in quality of life for those who are approaching the end of life. Down in Mississippi, when Katrina hit down there, there were some churches that asked for out-of-state help, and he and his wife took their chainsaw and went down to Mississippi on two or three different occasions. I just have that macho part in me that I like to run, run the chainsaw. And so after the uh, Katrina hit, hurricane hit, well, there was a uh, chainsaw group in uh, Camden uh, that we teamed up with. And my wife and I went with them at three different weeks. And we'd stay in a tent, sleep on cots, and be able to eat inside the church. But every morning, they, uh, they would get the orders to go to certain properties that needed trees and brush removed. So uh, my wife uh, learned how to wrap the chain around the tree trunk and hook it to the tractor to pull to the street. And so she was named a hooker. So I went to Mississippi and brought back a hooker. <laughs> I don't think Dr. Webby plays golf as well as Dr. Miller does. <laughs> Contentment, uh, satisfaction, uh, being uh, happy that I've been lucky to, to uh, be alive 77 years and in some way uh, contribute to uh, the comfort of others. Just an easygoing, laid back kind of a person. He's just uh, the kind of a person that if you had sick folk or you were sick folks, you would want him for the doctor. He's just a wonderful person. Proud of uh, even my parents that I feel like are still with me every day. Uh, I felt like that uh, I was being uh, honored for something that I love to do. I actually love to travel, and I love to use my chainsaw, and I love to be Dr. Miller. <laughs>